My name is Bailey Trender. I'm a 2020 graduate of Foundation Academy. It was a Thursday afternoon. I'd just gotten home from work and I got a call that um, from my stepbrother who had come up on the accident and said that Bailey was in a bad accident and I needed to get over there. It was about a mile from here, from the house. And so I called Brian and he met me at the scene. And about that time, I was in my, my work truck and I heard over the radio that there was an accident um, close to our house. Betsy called shortly after that and said, hey, you need to hurry up and get home. Um, Bailey's been involved in an accident. We got over to ORMC and um, he was still in the emergency room. The doctors um, worked on him for several hours and then um, actually called us upstairs with our pastor. And at that point was when we knew, um, the doctors said it, if he survived, he had a 3% chance of survival through the night, but if he did survive, he would never be able to, to walk again. My faith was never put to the challenge like it was until my accident. On like After my accident, when I started remembering and waking up and coming to, I just remember the tremendous amounts of questioning, like why it happened to me. And that's really what put my faith to the test. And uh, so I think it's grown tremendously since the accident, just because it's really been put to the test and it held up. Bailey's pretty remarkable. He, uh, he just doesn't give up. Bailey's always been um, a pretty determined person. Um, he has always worked hard and put in 110% in anything and everything that he's done. Playing football, I mean, he's only five foot five, so he was a small guy, but he played football with complete passion and heart and worked hard and was successful at it. And that same, that same attitude really just carried over. So Dreamplex, Cameron is probably one of the uh, greatest people we know. You know, I, I, to be honest with you, I don't know how he does it. I mean, it seemed like every weekend He's at an event doing something with the kids, um, building relationships, making sure you know they have equipment and things are going on, taking time away from his own family um, to just be a part of ours. And that's truly how the Dreamplex is, is dumped and poured into us, is we're just, we're just part of this family. And so I would just encourage people, seek out, um, people in places like the Dreamplex that give kids the opportunity to be back to somewhat of a normal life. Because there's a, there's a lot of people that just would love on their kids and um, help them to find a new norm and find out that, you know, there's, there still is life after an accident. No matter what he does, he's, he, he's successful just because he has that sheer determination. And, you know, my hope for Bailey is that he just doesn't allow his accident to dictate um, who he is or, or what he does, but he just continues to allow God to use him um, how he sees fit. And we just kind of knew that, you know, the Lord had everything in control and we were gonna just take it one step at a time. And um, the journey through all that is, is really kind of a um, remarkable story. Everything's in God's hands, it's God's ability. It's none of our own. So if God wants something to happen, it's gonna happen no matter the impossibles, the mountains, no, no matter.
matter what, God's gonna just overcome it. If you have a fumble, are you gonna go and just lay on the ball and lay there? Or are you gonna pick it up and try to score a touchdown? So that just kind of always stuck with me because this is my fumble, so I'm making the decision to pick it up and run with it.